how do you grade my assertion that our founding fathers believed political speech to be the most important kind of speech to protect? Well, thanks for having me, Michael. And absolutely, I think that the founding fathers looked at political speech as being the most important right that we have. I think that's why it's the First Amendment uh, to the Constitution. I think it was one of the things that the states were most concerned with in adopting the Constitution. Uh, I think that it was free political speech that allowed for the country to adopt the Constitution, uh, the ability for Publius to engage in, a, in anonymous political speech is what ultimately led to uh, the adoption in both New York and Virginia, and without those two states joining uh, the constitutional uh, effort, then we may not have the constitution that we have. So I think it's extremely important. I think it's the most important right that we have. Uh, and unfortunately today, I think it's the one that's most under attack. So uh, Trey Trainer, you went to Texas a and whoop, whoop. You know, all that kind of stuff, <laughs> yeah. Um, in the Corps Cadets, you commissioned into the United States Army. And then uh, then after after a few years in the Army, you then uh, headed off to head off to law school. And I, I have to ask you, you know, um, I, I think a lot of us have the image of lawyers that you guys go to law school with dreams of working for some white shoe firm and you're, you know, suing multinational corporations <laughs> for coffee spills and things mm -hmm. like that. Yet you emerge from from law school and you're kind of start, you know, get thrown into the thick of election law, thrown into regulatory law, free speech, those kind of issues. What did you do wrong? Uh, I don't know that I did anything <laughs> wrong. I, I would tell you that uh, looking around, uh, you know, the capitalist in me looked around and said, well, there aren't very many Republicans uh, right, who are yeah. engaged in this process on scarcity uh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, on on the Republican side uh, and on the conservative side of, of the ledger. There aren't that many people that, that, that do this. And so. Um, you know, I was able to, to fit into that. Uh, obviously, it's something that I enjoy. Uh, but for me, it is extremely important that we protect our rights. Uh, and again, you look at if you look at the left today, uh, the number of lawyers that they have willing to go to the courthouse for uh, to advocate for issues uh, that involve elections, issues that involve First Amendment speech or the squelching of First Amendment speech. Uh, there are armies of them. Uh, on the conservative side, there's a very small number. You know, I often joke that uh, they could meet in a phone booth. Now, luckily, I think that's getting a little bigger, but it's still a very small conference room at the Hampton Inn. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's not very big. So uh, it, that's basically how, uh, you know, I got into it is just say, look, uh, you know, we need people in this area and it's an important area. It's probably the most important area that we need people. Thanks for visiting the 1836 Studios and the Conversation Series. Make sure you click like on the video, uh, share it with your friends and click that little bell so you can be notified with our next conversation.